At Pike, Yara informs her father that the Glovers have retaken Deepwood Mott and executed the Ironborn garrison stationed there. With the loss of Deepwood Mott, the last major Ironborn fortress in the north, Yara reasons that the Ironborn invasion of the north is a doomed cause. When Balin insists on continuing the fight, Yara argues that while the Ironborn are unparalleled in naval warfare, they fare poorly on land, especially against a much larger mainland host. During their conversation, Balin chastises his daughter for wasting men on trying to rescue Theon from the Dreadfort. Yara refuses to apologize for her rescue attempt but tries to convince her father to end their rebellion against the mainland. She points out that they were only able to take the strongholds in the north because the northern lords were fighting a war in the south. Now that the war is over, the northerners are taking back their strongholds from the Ironborn. Yara then reminds her father that the last time they pushed the northerners too far, they were defeated and she lost her two older brothers. Balin angrily responds that he lost three sons that day and warns Yara that he will replace her with another heir if she does not obey. The two-part company and Balin is subsequently murdered by his estranged brother Euron Greyjoy. Balon's body is discovered after the storm and the following day Yara attends his seaside funeral, overseen by her uncle Aaron Greyjoy, a drowned man. Following the funeral, she vows to avenge her father's death by finding whoever is responsible and feeding them to the sharks while they're still alive. When Yara announces her intention to succeed her father on the salt throne, Aaron reminds his niece that the Kingsmoot chooses the next ruler. While Balin wanted his daughter to succeed him, Aaron firmly points out that Balin did not make the rules. Aaron says that perhaps she will win and become the first woman in history to rule the Iron Islands but then again, perhaps not. Theon arrives at the Iron Islands and receives a harsh reception from Yara, who is still angry with him for refusing to be rescued from the Dreadfort, saying good men were lost that night. Weeping, he apologizes several times, but she doesn't want to hear it. She accuses him of trying to take advantage of their father's murder to become King of Pike. Theon vehemently denies this, saying he had no idea Balin was dead until he arrived. She demands to know what he wants, and he says she deserves to be the ruler of Pike and he will support her claim to the Salt Throne. At the King's Moot, Yara is the first to claim the Salt Throne. She initially gains the support of those gathered, citing her experience leading the Ironborn and as a sea warrior. However, one man does not support her claim due to her gender and Theon's return. This remark prompts Theon to speak about Yara's bravery and legitimacy to rule. His speech convinces most of the Ironborn, but just as the king's moot is about to close, Yoron arrives. He lays claim, and Yara accuses him of murdering Balin. Yoron admits his kinslaying but successfully convinces the Ironborn that their former king was holding them back from greatness. Yoron wins the king's moot by proposing to marry Daenerys Targaryen and help her exact brutal vengeance on the mainland. While he is being baptized as the new ruler, Yara and Theon, realizing that he will kill them immediately, gather those loyal to them and escape with the majority of the Iron Fleet. Yara and Theon take the Iron Fleet to Essos where they stop over the free city of Volantis for rest and relaxation. The Ironborn frequent a brothel on the Long Bridge where they are entertained by prostitutes. Yara takes a liking to one of them and they embrace. However, Theon is still traumatized by his ordeal with Ramsay and is still guilt-ridden over his role in the deaths of the orphan boys. Yara counsels him to regain his former confidence over a bottle of ale. She tells him that they plan to beat Euron in reaching Daenerys first, regain the Iron Islands and exact revenge against Euron. As Theon finally regains some of his swagger, she leaves to have sex with a prostitute. In the aftermath of the failed siege on Marine, Yara and Theon arrive with their hundred ships, seeking to negotiate a deal with the newly victorious Daenerys. They offer the Mother of Dragons their fleet of ships in exchange for her support of Yara's claim as the rightful queen of the Iron Islands against Euron's claim. Tyrion is wary of Theon given what he saw of him at Winterfell and his crimes against the Starks, however, Theon and Yara insist that he has paid for what he has done. In the end, Daenerys, Tyrion, Yara, and Theon find common ground in their hatred of their cruel and merciless fathers and their desire for a better world than the one they were born into. Yara manages to convince Daenerys not to trust Euron, with Theon pointing out that if Euron has no qualms about killing his own family, he'd have no problem with killing Daenerys after marrying her to gain control of all of Westeros. 
Daenerys finds Yara's terms reasonable, particularly since Yara's offer of alliance is far less matrimonial, and accepts the aid of her 100 ships, although with the condition that the Ironborn stop their raping and piracy of the mainland, which Yara reluctantly accepts. Some time later, Yara and Theon begin the voyage back to Westeros, with the Iron Fleet forming part of Daenerys Targaryen's massive invasion force.